Hi guys, welcome to Rob Tris House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you right now, present moment, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay, guys? Please remember... Only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. I will pull from the wisdom of the oracle and I'll, I'll actually read the message from the book and then we'll do some tarot okay guys let's see what's the overall energy surrounding my virgos today spirit show me what's the overall energy Ooh, loyal heart look at that we have loyal heart Ooh, absolutely beautiful card that that in itself says a lot because you know my virgos carry a very a very loyal heart you guys are loyal, we, because I'm a Virgo as well, loyal to a fault. You know, that's a positive, that could be a positive and or a negative thing for us. It says, it talks about fidelity, loyalty, and your devotion here. That's the energy you guys are carrying right now, present moment. It says, when we pull this card, it's evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. In relationships, it says your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? You know, this, this energy, when it asks that question, are you as loyal in return? Some of you guys can say yes. Some of you guys may be saying no. Some of you guys may feel like there's more that you could do. You know, I'm also getting like someone here. There's someone that you, there's, it's like you wish you did things differently. There's a relationship for some of you guys. You wish you did something differently. That's what I'm getting as I read that question. It says, now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. When it comes to your prosperity, it says your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions. Where your aspirations for success assume form and reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans, will remain flexible. And devoted to others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. It talks about being devoted to serving others. That's all Virgo energy. That is all Virgo energy. It says this is a time for joyful celebration of spirit. You're manifesting a partner. You guys are manifesting a partner, a partnership here. You know, when it comes to your protection, it says, are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Are you being stubborn? It's asking that question. There may be something in your life right now, present moment, where you may be a little stubborn. Or have you become too attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Guys, you know that energy has been coming through a lot lately. Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? You know, this could be a relationship. This could be your career. This could be just a pattern, as I just saw 444 on the clock. 
It says, now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. You just got to make some room. It's time for you guys to make some room for this. You know, some of you guys, that loyalty, because this is a loyal heart. Where there may be someone in your energy. Yes, this person may be loyal, but this is about your loyalty, your loyal heart. Some of you guys, your loyalty is beautiful. And some of you guys, your loyalty is actually causing you more pain than need be. Some of you guys, your spirit guides are questioning, are you, are you truly being stubborn? Is this truly where you want to be in life? It's like your spirit guides want you guys to question certain things. Absolutely beautiful. This is all Virgo energy. That loyal heart is all Virgo energy. Very loyal, very dependable. Down to earth. A down to earth energy. An energy of service. Yeah, let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. What's currently going on with my Virgos? Show me spirit. Ooh, the devil. In the reverse, though, I'll take that. This is letting go. This is letting go of attachments. This is letting go of toxic behaviors and patterns. You see that? Devil, Capricorn, energy. You're letting this go. Letting go. Eight of coins. Working on something that makes sense. You know, focusing on something that makes sense. Massive energy. You guys are refocusing right now, present moment. Focusing on something that just makes sense to you. You know, this could definitely be your work, but this is something that you're working on, something that you absolutely want to work on, something that you absolutely want to pursue. So you guys are having to let go of something, truly letting go of something here, breaking some chains, breaking some patterns, some outdated beliefs and desires and intentions here. You know, setting setting sail, setting sail on new intentions. You know, things that things that just might actually work. I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, is letting go of what was not working and focusing on things that have been working for you. Yeah, show me, show me what's going on with my Virgos. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. If I could get more cards at a time, huh? Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups. So some of you guys, even though you've let something go, because you know the Eight of Cups came out in the reverse, you may have let something go, but you, it, still, it still matters. It still matters, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups came out in the reverse. This, is, this talks about self-love. This talks about self-love, but also listening to your intuitions, doing what's best for you. Right now, present moment, even though something hurts, you guys are in the posture of doing what's best for you. You're in the posture of doing what's best for you and still you haven't, you haven't quite detached from it emotionally. You haven't quite detached from it emotionally, but you are still progressing, doing what's best for you. Trying your best, trying your best. Yeah, the high priestess. Listening to your intuitions and your spirit guides. Listening to your intuitions and your spirit guides. Pisces energy, the Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. Getting yourself grounded, putting yourself in a better posture. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, your focus is putting yourself in a better posture. A lot of focus on self. You notice that? There's a lot of focus on self. Minding your own business here with this high priestess. You know, being a little mysterious. You know, keeping yourself up though, because this is some beautiful energy. I'm telling you, like, you look good. You look good. You know, a lot of you guys, you're focused on your health and your wealth. A lot of you guys, you're focused on your abundance and your well-being. You know, this is some nice, nice energy that's coming through for you guys. Ten of Wands. You know, things that things that were heavy on your heart. You know, I feel like you guys are trying to purge. I do. I feel like you guys have been trying to purge here. Yeah, show me. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. 
all these cards coming out in the um in the reverse, but they're all in the upright. I see this three of swords, page of cups, emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature, queen of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Hmm. Page of cups, this could be a child. This is an immaturity here. Queen of Cups, this is emotional manipulation. Mm -hmm. Why is that here, though? These are people that's in your life. Because the center of this is your Ace of Cups, but it's about pouring into yourself. You know, you, you've, been, you've been pouring your cup into, you've been pouring, like, you know how you take the, you take, I don't know why I want to say the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I'm not going to make this, um, I'm not going to go down that road with you guys. But it's one of those things. You have this Ace of Cups here. And like you've been pouring into so many other people here. So many other people. Some of you guys, this could have been a child or somebody that's younger, immature. You know, some of you guys this could be a mother figure. Or this is, a, this is an energy of someone here that you love. Someone that you do love as I'm looking at 11-11 right now, present moment. You have a loyal heart here to someone. You guys have a loyal heart to someone here. And like you've been manifesting. You've been working on trying to let go of certain aspects of it. Not truly let go of the person, but let go of kind of control like let go of some type of pattern, let go. It's like, let go and let live, let go and let somebody else live their life. You know, you've been dealing with someone here, page of cups. That's an emotion. That's an immature individual. You know, you've been dealing with someone here that they, they, why you love this person, this person has been emotionally manipulative. Eight of cups. You, 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 you definitely try to walk away, but you're still attached to these people. You're still attached to these people. You have that loyal heart, three of swords, you know, there's fear, there's pain. There's fear and there's pain here. Yeah, show me the devil. Show me the devil for my Virgos. Ace of Swords. Ooh, what is this truth? As I just saw 12, 12 on the clock. What is it that this is not seeing something though? With that Ace of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Wands. Communication. Somebody's not communicating. Somebody's not being honest in their communication. Somebody at a distance from you. What they're telling you is a fib. What they're, what they're telling you is you. What they're telling you is a fog. Yeah, Ace of Swords could be a Capricorn. Whatever this person is telling you is not true. Whatever this person wants to tell you is not true. You know, the devil in the reverse is like, you know, this is telling me that you guys have released yourself, you detach yourself from whatever this is, whatever who, whatever this is or whoever this is. But that ace of swords in the reverse, this person's not going to tell you the truth. And some of you guys, you're not, it's like, this is almost like a warning sign, a warning signal to you. Because while this person wants to communicate with you, while this person wants to come to you, this person's still not coming to you with a clear, with clear intentions. These intentions are still not clear. No. Show me this Ace of Swords. Show me this Ace of Swords. Did not want to have this type of morning of reading. Not at all. Where this card go? <laughs> oh, gosh. There we go. Seven of Coins. Seven of Coins. Options. Choose wisely. Choose, choose wisely. The Chariot. Cancer energy talks about breakthroughs, forward movement, cancer energy. Choose wisely because some of you guys may be in between a rock and a hard place. You may be in between two different people. Your heart, your heart may be in between two different people or your heart may be in between right and wrong right now, present moment. And there's clouded judgment. There's, cloud, there's clouds here. And seven of coins, I'm going to tell you guys to choose wisely because, you know, all these cups are not, you shouldn't drink from all these cups. Yeah, the chariot talks about forward movement and breakthroughs, two of swords. You know, I feel like some of you guys, you may be at crossroads right now, present moment, and making a decision, or you will be. And it's, I feel like you need to open up your eyes to all the signs and the synchronicities. Open up your eyes. Some of you guys, have you been having dreams? Have you guys been dreaming a lot? Because I feel like you've been getting signals from the universe here. Yeah. Like, 
you know, if you question if somebody's intentions real, if you question if who's real and who's faking your energy, if you question I'm um, getting truly someone's intentions, or if you can trust what's the words that's coming out of their mouth or the actions, nine of coins, you know, Virgo energy, two of wands. You know, this is about you guys. Some of you guys, this is, you need to focus on your, your own independence your own abundance. You need to focus on your own self, your own life. And whether that be with whoever, whoever's in your energy, it doesn't matter. I just feel like right now, present moment, there's a very in, there's a very intense energy about you guys focusing on your well-being, yourself, your abundance, what you're trying to bring forth in your own life. I feel like that type of energy is kind of coming through. Two of Wands, you need to make some decisions you need to plot, plan, think things through. You need to get organized. Organize your thoughts. You definitely need to organize your thoughts here because there is some changes here that's happening. There's some changes here that needs to happen for some of you guys. And I just feel like right now, present moment, you know, you, you have this loyal heart. That's your, that's your guys' theme for the energy that's coming through right now, present moment. There's a stubbornness in some of you guys. But there's also like, you know, you've your heart, gosh, because it's so loyal, it's like you want to believe that someone has changed. You want to believe that something has changed. You want to believe. You do. You want to believe in people. You want to believe in society. You want to believe in this world. Yeah. But I feel like your spirit guides are telling you guys to choose wisely in this pursuit here. Show me this eight of cups. Ten of cups. Because you see this, some of you guys, you, it's having to walk away from a relationship, a family dynamic. Hmm. Huh. You're having a hard time walking away from this. This could definitely be a relationship. Um, This could be somebody that you were in a relationship with, married to. This person could be married. You guys are having a hard time detaching from this person. And you do just fine by yourself. You do just fine by yourself. Six of Cups. A lot of memories here. There's a lot of memories. Hmm. And if it's not you that's having a hard time, there could be somebody else that's having a hard time. Strolling down memory lane here. You know what I'm also getting? This is a family dynamic for some of you guys. This is like a, a mother, father, brother, sister, cousin, uncle aunt grandparent that type of energy you know you're having a you you're having a hard time detaching from them you are you're having a hard time detaching from them because you have a lot of memories a lot of memories five of swords you have good and bad memories here it's always something with them yes but still you guys are holding on to the good to that loyal heart you're still holding on to the good Queen of Swords, but you're putting your foot down. You're still putting your foot down, though. Even though you're, you're even though you're unable to detach from them, even though you want to de detach from them, you're having a hard time detaching from them. You're putting your foot down, but you can't. It's like it's like a battle. It's like an ongoing battle. Some of you guys are having right now, present moment. Yeah, show me this Ten of Cups. Show me this Ten of Cups temperance look at that divine timing divine protection you are divinely protected you are divinely protected you're going to be okay no matter what you're going to be okay no matter what you know what i'm getting some of you guys you may be the black sheep of the family as a nine of coins here the two of wands talks about distance talks about your life here talks about your loyal heart some of you guys you may be the oddball you know you may be the 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 chicken in, in in the house of ducks there's something here in this energy where you may be the oddball within a family dynamic here yeah two of swords see that again you guys are having some hard times with truly making decisions and sticking to them or even making a decision one way or the other a lot of you guys are at crossroads you know <laughs> there's a battle within you there's a battle within you oh yeah four of coins Five of coins, even if it costs you. Sometimes you're, you're, it's like you're, 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 you guys are on the in and out. Like, you know, you, this is like, 
five of coins. It's like once you go to have a sit down, that's what I'm seeing here. You guys may go, you're, you're, you get so upset, you walk out, you slam the door, you fuss, you, you fuss or whatever, however this goes. You have a moment, you take a moment and then you still come back because there's still so much love that you have. That, lo that heart is still so loyal. Four of coins, you can't let go. You can't let go. Some of you guys, it is draining you financially. Some of you guys, it is making your financial situation a little tougher. Yeah. Show me this Ace of Cups. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands talks about communication. So a lot of you guys are protecting your... You've put up some boundaries with people. You've put up some boundaries with people and you're trying to... It's for your own betterment putting up boundaries blocking communication blocking people's view of you because some of you guys may have actually got off of social media as well so people don't know what's going on with you right now present moment but you're blocking communication you're blocking eyes on you you know i'm getting like some of you guys you're trying to protect your energy at all cost right now present moment this is all about self-love yeah king of coins focusing on your for, focusing on your work and your money some of you guys may be blocking communication with an earth sign here, you know, and focusing on yourself, truly, truly focusing on yourself right now, present moment. Yeah, show me this eight of wands. The magician, beautiful energy, absolutely beautiful energy, Gemini, Virgo energy. You guys are in your manifestation period right now, present moment. You guys are in like your prime right now, present moment. You guys are on your shit right now, present moment. That's the energy that I'm getting. With that magician here, this talks about manifestation. It talks about communication as well. You know, if I, I'm, if I can't say the truth, I'm not going to lie. That's that type of energy. This is like you guys quick wit here. Like if I can't speak my truth, I'm just not going to talk to you. If, you, if, if, I, if I talk and you, and you lack the understanding to understand the words that's coming out of my mouth, I'm not going to communicate with you. You guys are not wanting to waste your time on people. You guys don't want to waste your time on people. You don't want to, you don't want to waste your breath. You know, your breath is very relevant to you right now, present moment. Yeah, six of coins. But you can't help but think. You can't help but think because you got such a loyal heart here. You guys can't help but think about people. Think about the good times because there's a lot of thinking of the good times. There is a lot of thinking of the good times. You know, you guys want to believe. You guys want to believe in whoever this is that you're dealing with. Some of you guys, it's whomever you're dealing with because there's more than one person. Yeah. Show me this page of cups. This is somebody that's emotionally immature. Or like, this is like someone here that you thought, you thought that they liked you. You thought they were your friend and things turned out to be so different. Show me this page of cups for my Virgos. Three of coins. Could have been a friend. This could have been a friend or a co-worker. This definitely could have been a friend, a co-worker, or somebody that you work with. You thought you, you thought you and this person would, you thought things were better than what it actually was. Yeah. Seven of swords. You see that deception? This person was deceiving you. This person was untrustworthy. You know, there was some deception here. This person lied to you. So some of you guys, yes, it could be a co-worker, a friend here. You thought somebody was real, but they turned out to be fake. You know, that's emotional immaturity. And, you're, and right now, present moment, you're like, you're tired of people. That's what I'm kind of getting in this energy. As I say this to you, you're like, oh, gosh, I'm just tired of people. Show me this three of coins. Show me this three of coins. Somebody here, you thought a friend was going to help you. Or you thought like a coworker was going to help you. Or you thought somebody was going to help you with a project. And they, it, it wasn't real. That type of energy. Eight of coins. This is a lot to do with your work. This is a lot to do with your work. This is a lot to do with your skills and what you're trying to accomplish. What you're trying to accomplish here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Some of you guys, this, this is like your education how you're learning. There's some type of energy here with the Hierophant here. It talks about your beliefs. It talks about a structure, a system here. Something's failing. Some of you guys, you may feel like a system is failing you right now, present moment. You may feel like 
your current career path, your current job is failing you in some type of way, shape, or form. Yeah. Let's see. Show me this eight of coins. Show me this eight of coins for my Virgos. The high priestess again. Somebody here, you're being called to step outside of your comfort zone. Strong Pisces energy. Don't be so stubborn. Don't be so stubborn. You've been, you're being called. There's something that you can master. You can accomplish. But it requires you to work with other people. And I know it's your baby. I know it's which it's 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 for you. You don't want to share it. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want other people involved in it. But there's some type of energy here with that Pisces energy right here. I feel like some of you guys, there's a there's a stubborn energy of you allowing someone to help you to aid you. That energy is coming through. Some of you guys, if you're doing like if you're doing like spiritual work. Um, or you're like on this spiritual journey right now, present moment, there may be people in your energy that don't understand you right now, present moment. People may not understand your, your choice, your path, the path that you're on right now, present moment, your choices that you're making right now, present moment. You understand it. It's between you and God. That's what I'm going to say. Your, that understanding is between you and God. It's not, it's not for you and other people. Other people may not understand it. I do see that here. Yeah. The lovers, Gemini, energy. Somebody here, you may be trying to work on a relationship here and other people may not understand it. Like your, your friends and your parents, they may not understand why you're, why, why, why you're still devoted to this person. Why you still have this loyal heart to this person. Yeah, show me this Queen of Cups. Show me this Queen of Cups. So we have the Hermit in the reverse, and we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Three of Cups in the reverse talks about, you know, someone may want to be in your energy. You know, they may want to be in your energy, but this person's emotionally manipulative. The Hermit, you know, this is for you guys to see this. There's something about your intuitions. There's something about your intuitions. There's a lack here. You guys are not seeing somebody for who they truly are. It could definitely be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is a feminine energy. This is a mother, but this is a, or a counselor or someone here that this is like, I don't know why I just got a guidance counselor, but this is someone here that should be a care, like a caregiver. You know, this person wants to be in your energy here, but with the hermit here, there's something about discernment. Have you not learned a lesson when dealing with this person as of yet? There's something about you guys needing to protect your energy when you're in this person's energy because there's a manipulation here. Strong Virgo energy. Two of Swords. You see that Two of Swords keeps coming out. That's the third time we're seeing that Two of Swords. You guys are having a hard time putting somebody in their place or, or, or making sure that you know somebody's place. Because you may be giving somebody rain or giving somebody a placement in your life, a place at your table, a seat at your table, and they don't belong there. They don't belong there. Could definitely be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo here. Yeah, show me the hermit. Some of you guys, it's a fake friend. Some of you guys, it is a fake friend. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This is for you guys to walk away from this. You guys need to see Four of Swords. You guys need to see. You need to see who's real and who's fake in your life. You do. You need to see. You need to open up your eyes and see because your heart is so loyal. Oh, wow. What is this? Abundance mindset. It says, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Yeah. Huh. And then we have serve vows, sever, I'm sorry, sever vows of poverty. Hmm. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made. Consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime, as you do so, 
all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. You know, that loyal heart is costing some of you guys. You know, it's causing some of you guys some stagnation. It's depleting some of you guys' resources. You know, it's costing some of you guys with this five of coins. You know, because you are this nine of cups, you know, there is, there's relationships, there's attachments here. Some of you guys, there's relationships and attachments that's affecting your family, your career here. You see that? Your endeavors, because you guys, some of you guys, you may be, you, there may be causes, cause and effect on furthering your education or pursuing something that you want to pursue because there's a cause and effect here. Yeah, massive energy. Massive energy, my loves. All right, that's what I have for you guys. Look at that bottom of the deck. Detox your friendships. I feel like it should be saying detox your relationships. So it says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Look at that. Didn't even look down at that card. Massive energy. All right, my loves, that's what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. And I hope you have such a wonderful day. I will be doing some other readings, but I have to do some personal readings first. But love and light, guys. Bye.